excited for tonight. Um, I'm literally on two Zooms at once because I know that this is so freaking important. I got to keep this down, but we, we have Cassie Tech on tonight, you guys. And Cassie is so absolutely amazing at this business and what she does, her enrollments. And so I hope that you guys are taking notes tonight. Um, and you don't just take what she's sharing tonight, like these incredible enrollment tips, like for just the end of month, but also, also for the beginning of the month. So Cassie, Jackie has all the questions and I'm sure she has some other questions too. You guys are going to want to like, trust me when I say you're going to want to take notes. Okay. So I'm grateful for all of you guys. Um, I have my pen and notepad ready to rock and roll and I'm going to mute myself and you guys can take it off. All right. I'm so excited. Okay. I just, uh, Cass, I think I spotlighted you. There you go. I think you're good. Okay, guys, I'm so excited. So Cass, um, we have lots of questions for you to pick your brain, but I would love if you could just start off with your story. How did you find this business? How long have you been in? There we go. <laughs> I was like, I can't unmute. Okay, perfect. Well, I've been in this business. It'll actually be my four years in November. So that's crazy. I feel like I just joined. Like if you're new and you're feeling like, try not to compare my chapter four to your chapter one, because seriously, I was exactly where you were. I didn't know social media. I didn't know how to do anything like that. I just jumped in because I needed an extra income, just like all of you. So four years ago, I was actually um, a full-time college student working three part-time jobs. So I was as busy as could be because I was paying for school, like as I went, like in payments or whatever. And so I had to work those three jobs to make my tuition payments. And then I wasn't even like making enough to get gas or food. And I was like, okay, <laughs> something needs to change. I'm working my butt off at all these jobs. And I couldn't even put gas in my car and I commuted to school and I had like a 40 minute drive. So that's a lot of gas. And then I had to commute to my jobs. And I'm sure you guys know, like, it's not free to get to your job. That's why a lot of us had joined this business for gas money. And that was me too, because it was like, I can't even get to school to go pay my tuition for the classes I'm taking. So that's when I saw a girl on my Instagram, I was in between classes. I was scrolling. I saw her posting about filling up her gas tank. So don't be afraid to share the little things because that's exactly what people want to see. And that's what made me join her. And because I had seen her posting about her gas and I was like, I, I'm at the, I was that person at the gas station every other day trying to put like $5 in my gas tank. If you've been there, like drop a one in the chat or something because I have definitely was that person. And that's when I saw the um, girl posting on her Instagram. I literally was at the gas station before class and saw her posting about filling her gas tank from like empty to full. And I was like, that's like, like, I wish I could do that. Like I have to put $5 in like, you know? So that's when I was like, I needed to find something like what she's doing. So I reached out for info. And if you think you're life posting for nothing, let me tell you, you're not life posting for nothing because she's got me. I've been here for four years from one of her posts. So make sure you're posting consistently every day. And so I jumped right in and then I kind of got skeptical and nervous. So I want to say never give up on your distributors that are slow at the beginning because I barely did anything for four months. And then I saw a bunch of girls promoting and getting bonuses. And I was kind of like, wait a minute, why not? Like, what, what am I not like, what am I doing that they're not doing? Or what are they doing that I'm not doing? Sorry, I couldn't talk there. But I was like, what are they doing that I'm not doing? And then I was like, I'm really not really working. <laughs> I was just kind of there. And I'm sure you've all had distributors like that. And so I wanted to say, never give up on them. Still send them like what to do, check in on them, all that kind of thing. Because if she would have probably not checked in on me, I probably wouldn't still be here. And as soon as I saw that vision and I was like, I want those bonuses. I want the pay. I was like, I started running and I did host to post right away. And I went Ruby basically a month after I decided to start working hard and doing all the things that they were teaching because like I went through the training and I just didn't really do the training. <laughs> and I just kind of like, oh, that's great. Like, sounds good. But I didn't actually do it. And then when I actually followed the trainings, like we're training you right now, that's when I started like running. And that's when I promoted to Ruby like in a month, basically, from when I started working until I promoted, I was doing post to post. I was like right about when that came out in like 20, I think it was 2018, maybe 2019, um, sometime around then. But when host to post came out, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna run with it and just see what happens. Because if these girls 
it's working for them. Why not? Like, why wouldn't it work for me if I just give it my all? So that's what I did. And then I went, um, I kind of got stuck at Ruby for a little bit because I was not doing self-development. So make sure you guys are doing self-development. That's really what took me from Ruby and beyond. I don't know if there's anyone stuck, like feels like they're stuck at Ruby. You're never stuck, but it feels like that. And that was me. I literally was sitting there and I was like, why am still doing all the things, but why am I not going further? And self-development was the exact, like, like Alicia said, self-development is key. That is exactly what I was not doing. And that was the almost the only thing I was not doing because I just didn't think I needed it, you know? Put a two in the chat if you feel like you don't need to, um, like you don't need uh, self-development because I felt that way too. But when I did it, it changed my business. So I'm telling you, don't sleep on self-development. We can all get lazy, but it will change your business if you let it. And then I started doing self-development, doing the journaling, reading the books, all the things my leader recommended that I just didn't want to do. <laughs> And then I actually went Emerald shortly after that. And I decided to do self-development. And then what was after that? I went Emerald and then I went to conference. So if you're not going to the conference in, I think it's in January, maybe February, definitely get yourself to conference because that's when I like met a bunch of these leaders. Like I remember meeting Jade. I remember meeting so many top leaders and I just saw the vision and saw these people. Like it's one thing to see us on Zoom but it's another thing to like meet them in person and actually like talk to them for real and like see their faces and just like hear their stories. People like were sharing their story on stage and it was just so cool to see like people that went from literally nothing to making more than doctors. Like you, like it's crazy. And that's what really got a, like lit a fire under me. And I went diamond and double diamond right after that, which are like one of our higher ranks in the company, you guys, if you're new and not sure what any of that means. We actually have a diamond bonus right now. I'm sure you guys are going to talk about that later, but I got the diamond bonus and the double diamond bonus just because I saw the vision at conference and I just started running and doing all the things like that we're going to talk about later, but I just started running and doing the things. And if you're just willing to learn, you guys, you can go so far in this company, but let me know if you have any questions on that. That was so good. I actually have a lot of questions. I took a full page of notes as you were talking. I'm very inspired by your story. Now, one of the things that you said that I feel a lot of people relate to is, you know, when you started, you were going to school full time and you had three part-time jobs. And so, you know, drop a three in the chat. Is that number one? I forget. Drop a three in the chat. If you or somebody in your organization right now, their setback is I simply don't have enough time right? Like I don't have enough time. I'm working three jobs and I'm going to school, right? Like we, we all, I feel have people like that, or we were that. Now I remember exactly how I felt in that same situation. So for you, what, what was like the shift where you had to realize like, okay, I already am giving up a lot of my time to these other things that are important. Like, what did you do to make that work for you? You know? Yeah. So what I did really to make this because obviously I already had a busy schedule. What I did to make this fit into my schedule is I kind of had to realize what my priorities were. Did I want to sit and watch Netflix or did I want to work my business to quit my jobs that I hated? You know, I had to wake up earlier. I had to go to bed later. I literally, so I had class at like 9 a.m. I would get up at seven, hop on a journaling or work Zoom, or if there's not a journaling or work Zoom at that time, make your own work Zoom and just set a timer and work for an hour. What I did a lot in this, a lot of times when I was in school or at my jobs, I would set timers. If you guys don't set timers, I highly recommend it. I'd send like 50 messages in five minutes. You, I obviously didn't start that fast, but when you set, like when you get used to setting timers and challenging yourself to send the messages out faster, that's how I get a lot of work done quickly. And I still do that to this day because if I don't set timers, I can see myself like sending 50 minutes or 50 messages in 20 minutes where I could have done it in five, you know? So I just really set timers and was intentional and like made it a priority. Like I would go to the bathroom at my jobs just so I could send some messages or reply to someone. Like I did not care. You just have to get to that mentality of I'll do whatever it takes because I'm tired of being where I'm at. And that's literally where I was because I did not want to keep having to go to the gas station. I did not want to keep not eating. I'm sure we've all done it, skipped meals so that we could get gas or got gas and then, or got food and then not got gas and hoped it didn't run out. You know, <laughs> I'm sure we've all been there. 
And so you got to set your priorities with this business. Do you want to keep living like that? Or are you going to turn it around with something that can change your life instead of just going to work at Target for four hours and making barely anything? That's what I used to do. And I was like, why am I even working this job when it's not even making me any money? Like it all goes to like my gas tank and then I'm still have nothing. So that's kind of what I did. I just made it a priority. Yeah, dude. And it's so true. You know, we all have 24 hours in a day. Like when you really think about mm -hmm. it, time is our most valuable resource. We can't slow it down. We can't, you know, reverse it. We cannot add more time. We simply just, it is what it is. And so I love that you said you just made it your priority. And I, whenever I, I always ask this question because it's interesting to hear people's answer. And I feel across the board, it's people just, they, they got angry with their situation. Mm -hmm. Like we're not going to sit here and tell you that it's easy, right? It's just the skies are going to like be blue and the, 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 the birds are going to come down singing and everything's going to work out. Like it's not supposed to be sexy. It's not supposed to like be easier and convenient. It's just having the discipline to spend the little time that you have doing things that are going to build your business. So that actually leads me into my next question. So Jade, whenever she said that she wanted to have you on here, she just said, man, Cassie literally kills it with enrollments. She's a beast. Like she's enrolling all the time. And I know that with that comes a lot of consistency on your end. So let's pretend we're talking to the newest person that straight up is not getting results. They feel like they're doing the things, they're not getting results. What are you doing? What are your action steps to enroll the amount that you do? Yeah, so first I would tell them if they think they're doing it all, but not enrolling, what's your self-development look like? Are you journaling in the morning? So every morning I wake up and I journal for 15, 30 minutes, sometimes longer read a devotional, read a self-development book, listen to a podcast. If you don't know what anything about what I'm talking about, talk to your leader. <laughs> They'll have great examples for you. But first I, thing I would say is what's your self-development like? And then we'd figure that out. But then I would get into like, okay, what work are you doing? Are you posting every single day? I personally post about a product, a life post, and then either an interaction post or a giveaway post. I post about three times a day no matter what, every single day, I don't, like, I know there's, like, some people like to take a Sabbath, I personally don't, there is some days I don't work as hard as I do other days, but that's because that's just life, like, you still want to work, but you don't have to work 12 hours a day, that's the beauty of this business, is you can work it around your schedule, and your schedule is going to change, so if you don't work as hard one day, don't beat yourself up, just make up for it the next day, you can enroll 10 customers in one day, or one customer every single day, it's the same 10 customers, you know, so, I would say next, after you're posting to your page, make sure you're posting to your stories. I do that every single day about the products, the business, and like my life, what I'm doing outside of the business. Um, and then I would do host a post. That's where I got to Ruby, Emerald, Diamond, and Double. It's like my ride or die. Host a post is where I enroll probably 90% of my customers. Don't get me wrong. I do all of the other things too but I enroll most of my people from host to post. And what also comes with that is follow-up. Not everyone's going to enroll from host to post on the spot. So that's when you need to follow up with them because they just came onto your page. They don't know you yet. They haven't seen your life post about your family. They haven't seen your story. So they might watch you for a week after you first talk to them from host to post. So that's why you need to follow up because literally the fortunes and the follow-up it's I don't remember what the stat is but there's some kind of stat it's like it takes like seven to 14 follow-ups to have someone enroll from the time they first come onto your page so like if you're following up with someone for um yeah seven to 21 thank you Alicia I was like if you're following up with someone for like weeks don't give up because you never know they could be they could sign up on the spot on that seven follow-up and be like 140 BV customer. And I actually get a lot of my customers to be about that volume, 135, 140, 100, depending on the people. But that's because I'm not afraid to upsell after host to post. So yeah, they commented on a cleanse host to post, but that doesn't mean that they don't wanna lose more than just the 10 to 12 pounds, you know? They always wanna lose more, but they're never gonna tell you that if you don't ask that. So after I do host to post, I always ask them like, how much are you looking to lose? Like, what's your goal? How can I like best help you? And then I set up like a 14 easy pack. So in the US, I know you're in Canada, but in the US, they have the packs already made for you. I'm sure they have some, or you can make your own packs, but they have the package already set up for us right on the, right on the website. So I'm just offering that pack 
I can try to send my wording later. Um, I don't know if I can do it from my iPad, but if not, I can send it to Jade and we can send it later. But I just go right into the 14 easy after they tell me, literally if they say anything above 10 pounds, I'm offering 14 easy, I don't care. <laughs> because that'll help them lose the weight faster. It'll help us get more volume, which leads to more pay. Like it's a win-win for them, win-win for us. Why not offer more? the worst that they can say is no. And then when they say, if they happen to say no, I'm like, okay, would you want the cleanse for 40, the um, smoothie for 54 or the gummies for, I actually do this 14 easy caffeine free or the gummies for 40, I think it is. And then they'll tell me which one they can afford, whatever works for them. But if you don't like offer more products, they're always going to say no because they don't know about them. So always offer more. And then next, I also do cold messaging on Instagram and sometimes on Facebook. So never sleep on the cold messaging. I've done it since I started. <laughs> like, yes, it's tedious. But like I said, send a, set a timer for five minutes, send 50 messages. You might get responses. You might not. It, like, it's the numbers game. The more you send, the more responses you'll get. So and then when they reply, I actually do offer the products and the business in my like message. It says like certain products and then, or would you be interested in a business partner position, something like that. So you're killing two birds with one stone. And then I'm trying to think if I missed anything. I kind of went off track a little bit on hosted posts. <laughs> um, I think that's almost all of it. <laughs> no, I love that. Um, so, okay. It was interesting to me, like not, you're like saying 90% of your enrollments are coming from HAP. You're off, are you doing mostly chronic HAP? Yeah, I actually do. Probably almost all cleanse hosts to post. I forgot to say, I do TikToks and Reels on all platforms too, but I do enroll mostly from host to post and I do the cleanse host post right now. I've had almost good success with any host post that I've used. You just have to do it. You know what I mean? Exactly. It's like the law of averages. And I actually love that you said that about messaging. Like I just had this moment when you mm -hmm. said that because I was like, man, like I feel when we started, I started five years ago, this was way more talked about like messaging on Instagram and like, mm -hmm. you know, I, it, I feel it, it's a mindset, right? So when you say, when you say, okay, like don't sleep on the cold messages, I'm, and guys, my cold messages, like, and I don't know, Cass, correct me if, if I'm wrong, but that's just meaning people that are already following you or you're initiating mm -hmm. the conversation very simple reach out. Like there's tons of examples. We can make sure that you guys all have that if you don't, but, um, you know, really just reaching out to people and setting a timer and doing it. So many people are focused on the no, or they're focused on the ones that don't answer where I think like someone like, you know, Cassie or, or myself or anyone that's really enrolling a lot is like, okay, I'm going to take literally 10 minutes, maybe twice a day. What if I reached out to a hundred people a day? And what if out of those hundred people, 10 to 20 of them are, are saying yes for info, right? That's the immediate like win, but like what you don't understand with host or sorry, with messaging is that you're planting that seed with people, right? You probably had it whenever you enrolled, someone messaged you and then you didn't join right away, but that did plant a seed with you. So don't be, yeah, just like she said, don't be scared to message. That's amazing. So, um, okay. So you're doing half, you're doing product, you're upselling. Now, what would you say, like, what would be a strategy you would give if someone said, I really feel like I'm trying to do half, but I'm just not able to get them up? Um, I would honestly say have them do more giveaway host to post. So I would have them, uh, I would have them send the friend like a giveaway post to post. There's really good ones about like, if your friend was pregnant, what name would you use? Or we have a good one that's like, show me your favorite picture of your pet for an entry into our $500 giveaway. I would send the friend something like that so that then they can get more people on their network. Because if you're having the same 10 people posted for you every single day, you're obviously not going to get results from that because you need new people to be seeing the host to post. So that's when I actually will do giveaway host posts. I haven't done it in a while, but it does help when you're looking to grow your network. And that's actually what I did when I was really promoting. I would do like five giveaway and then five products or whatever um ratio you want to use like if you get 20 host posts up a day obviously you could switch up the ratio um but it really depends I would do giveaway posts or giveaway host posts for sure and then adding to your network from like mutual friends it, like doing that that way and then still having them do a giveaway host to post to then like get the ball rolling I know we talked about like the what's it called like infinity host post or something a while back but something like that having a bunch of people do a giveaway post and then having a bunch of new people do a product post because if they're not new people, then you're not gonna get as many results from it. Um, 
hopefully that makes sense if like you guys are lost let me know no it's it's so it's so simple like the really the like the answer it, whenever you run into a, a struggle in network marketing i feel the answer is one of two things recruiting or just growing your following like <laughs> there's so many people on this planet literally you'll never run out of people you could lose your whole entire facebook today and i can assure you that someone like you know yourself would build from the ground up because you know the power of what you're able to do on social media it's it's mm -hmm. you know what i mean it's unlimited you can truly grow your network so much so okay so a lot of your customers are coming from hap so guys i don't know if you're hearing this but like if you're not doing hap do it stay consistent with it everything in this business requires consistency uh you know cassie is not doing a hap you know four days of the week or like twice a month, like it's every day and everything compounds. So let's talk about distributors. How are you, what would be the number one thing that you think you do to enroll distributors? How are, how are these leads coming to you? So distributors for sure, um, like posting and posting to my story every single day are really important as well. And the, you guys, those don't have to be like super complicated, super pretty story slides. Like I know Jackie just gets on her story and talks a lot. I do that occasionally too. And you can just do like a, so sometimes what I'll do is if I'm watching Netflix and working at the same time, I'll put a little boomerang and say like, so thankful to be able to work from home, something like that. It doesn't have to be super complicated every time. Like, obviously, yes, we want to share our story, but you don't have to share your story 10 times a day. You can just show little clips of yourself living your life and working the business. That's something I really do on my stories a lot. And then um, obviously life posting about where you started, where you're at now and where you're going. That's really helpful. And then I also do TikToks and Reels on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Obviously, you can just save it and share it to all the platforms. You don't have to make like a new one on every platform. If you don't know how to do that, ask your enroller. I promise you it's super easy. But I do those about the business, about the products. And then sometimes I'll do a second one about the business or products. I do about two to three a day, depending on the day. Sometimes I only get one up, but still it's more, better than getting none up. You know, some people haven't gone on the TikTok train yet. And if that's you, I highly recommend it. Like I've never gone viral on TikTok, but I'm still doing it every single day because you still get those like 200, 300 potentials that have seen your page and you're planting the seed, you know? So from there, I also voice message a lot in the DT conversation because it's good for people to like hear you and get to know you. And then there's one other thing I had and I just lost it. I also cold message for DTs. Um, I think that might have been it. Um, I cold message for DTs. It's just the same as customers, but just a different message. I can send that one in the chat too. Um, and then I do ask after I get a host post up, I offer the business and the products in one message so that it offer like it kills two birds with one stone again. And you don't have to say two, like you don't have to do it twice. You don't have to say, do you want the products? Oh, you can't afford it. Do you want the business? Like that works great, but you might as well say it right up front so they don't have to go through the whole conversation. Um, so I do say it after host supposed to, um, I think that's all. And then just be, be yourself, you guys show yourself and who you are. And like, they'll see that you're in a business and they'll want to know what it is. That's kind of what happened to me is like, I didn't realize she was in the business as much until I saw a post about it. And I was like, wait a minute, like, I got to check this girl out. And so just being yourself will attract people to your page as well. But I think that's mainly what I do for distributors. If you have questions on any of those, let me know. Yeah, one thing I want to kind of dive a little bit deeper in because I feel, you know, okay, drop, drop a four in the chat. If you feel maybe you're new, you know, and you're like, I really just don't know what to say to attract distributors. And I know you said earlier, you know, talking about putting gas in your car, like these little wins that people deem as insignificant. But really this is, I mean, this is what caught my attention too, right? It was... It was the little wins. And so one thing you guys can think about as you, you know, take from this Zoom and, and go on to like talk on your story or post or whatever is what problem are you solving for your network, right? So for example, when, when Cassie was talking about, you know, the person that enrolled her was, um, you know, filling gas in her car. The problem that was being solved for Cass was, oh, I also struggle putting gas in my car. So you have to think that if that person never talked about it, you would have never had that seed planted in you to then reach out. And so if you're struggling with enrolling distributors, I want you to ask yourself, like, what problem are you looking to solve for people? This will also come down to who are you talking to? 
right? Like who is the, who is the person you're talking to? Are you talking to a mom that's looking to be home with their kids and like not have to go to a job just to pay for somebody else to raise their kid? Are you talking to the student that wants to like not have to go to class and work a job just to be able to like barely afford like one of the biggest things that I've learned from working with Karen is if you try and just talk to everybody, you're actually talking to nobody. You have to be, you almost have to like niche it down and be specific to who you're talking with. So, or sorry, to who you're talking to. So can you um, give a couple pointers? I'm going to go kind of back and forth with you with this, but take a couple pointers on how you would coach a new person. Maybe that's come in, they haven't ranked up yet. They haven't had a ton of success. How would you teach them to life post and like what to say and like an outline for that? Yeah. So I would, I love what you said about like seeing who you want to talk to. So that's one thing that you can focus on when you're trying to life post is you want to try to like hit, like I've heard this in a different zoom. Like you want to try to like catch their emotions a little bit. Who's that stay at home mom or who's that like tired mom that wants to stay home with their kids and doesn't want to keep rushing to three different jobs. I know a lot of moms have to work multiple jobs to like pay for their, like pay for things for their kids. So you could say, who's that tired mom that is ready to stay at home with their baby, something like that. You can hit like your target market in your wording, or you could say like, where are my college students that are tired of taking all these classes and working all these jobs and not getting anything from it. Or I, I've sometimes said in life posts, like, where are my girlies that are tired of like putting $5 in their gas tank? That was me too. And then you kind of relate to them. So you'll say like, like you focus on your target market and then you'll say, so like, if I said, um, where are my girls that are tired of, um, not being able to fill up their gas tank? I was like, that was me too, three years ago. I started as a broke college student. So you kind of tell you a little bit about you and relate to them. Even if you just started, you can still relate to them and say like, I just found this amazing. And like, so basically like problem and solution, like she was saying, this is the problem. I was there too. This is how I'm solving my problem. I'd love to help you do the same. And you want to always end it with a call to action like that and like offer them. Like, I want to help you do the same comment something at the end because that opens up the door for them to reach out to you and that's what that's actually how I um found my enroller from a gas post very similar to that about how she filled up her gas tank but she didn't used to be able to do that and that she did it all because of this business and then she offered something like drop the word gas if you are struggling fill your gas tank too something like that let me know if that kind of like fits that no, it does for sure. It does. And I think, you know, I want to, I want to give everyone kind of a, like a call to action for after this. And like, you know, we're wrapping up month end. I really want you guys to focus on what you can start tweaking and changing right now to literally make your focus to enroll distributors, to grow your team. And one of those things, like if I could give you one specific thing that I would do and that I do, just like Cass said, is to get on your story and just start talking to those people. And, you know, it, you don't have to overthink this. Like, you'll, you know, you'll see the way that we all build our business is very different, right? We are have different personalities, but if you just come on as you are and talk like you're talking, like we are right now, you're not trying to sell somebody. You're not trying to, you're not trying to like reel somebody in just literally talking like you would talk to your friend or another person like that. That is how you want to communicate. So, you know, it could literally be as simple as, you know, listen, I just got off the zoom. I'm so fired up. Like I was learning from, you know, some people about, you know, how we make money online. And it just got me thinking that so many people are just like me, right? They, they're, they're looking for ways to not have to work these two jobs. They're a mom. They're realizing that the cost of going to work is literally not worth having somebody else raising their kids. They're realizing that they're spending all of their time trading it for dollars to be away from their family. And I'm just looking for somebody who feels that right. And you guys, when you start talking and calling out, I don't want to say pain points, but like reality is it's pain points. People take action based on emotion, right? I was a mom that did not want to be away from my kid. And once I didn't know there was a solution to that problem. So you're almost like addressing this thing that you felt or you feel. And then you're just saying, Hey, am I the only one? Am I the only one? And all of a sudden your page or your story or your TikToks or your content becomes a space for people to say me too, right? There's it, it, there, people are relate, like they're relating to you, right? Now, something that's important that I want to touch on um, as well is, you know, 
you can't just be posting haps and products and stories and business posts all day long because people are never going to connect with you because you do it works. Okay. Like it's just never going to happen. People connect with you literally because of who you are as a person, the struggles you've gone through, you know, the things that made you join the things that you love as a person, like people are going to relate to you outside of this business. So can you talk about how and what type of things that you share content wise to bring people in your network that that isn't the business? Yeah, so I, <clears throat> my voice was like gone there for a second. So I really share a lot about like what I do outside of the business with my boyfriend, with my family. I'm really like close to my boyfriend and my family. So I would share like, if we go out to dinner, I'll share that and how I'm so thankful that I'm be able to be at that dinner or whatever because I didn't have that three years ago. And so you don't always have to tie in the business with it, but I would, just share things that I'm doing in my life. Like when I went on vacation last week, I would just share where I was or I would share what I was doing. It's really simple, you guys. You don't need to overthink it. Like I would share what show I'm watching. You just need to share things that will show people that you're a real person and that will show them like that you are no different than they are. You are just someone that's doing a business that also has a real life. So like I said, my boyfriend, my family, I share outside a lot because I'm an outside person. Um, I like to work out, just like things you like, hobbies, all that kind of thing. That's really my core four things that I share a lot. I'm sure Jackie has some similar ones. I love it. No, I really love it. So guys, if you have any questions also for month end, like throw them in the chat. Um, one of the things that I really wanted to touch on kind of cast what you kind of talked about at the beginning was personal development. And I feel this is something that a lot of people maybe are missing. If you're feeling like you said, stuck or a little funky. And I just, I don't know who needs to hear this tonight. So I'm just going to quickly, I'm going to touch on this. Okay. It's normal for you in business to feel sometimes a little like, just like you said, stuck, but you're not really stuck. Okay. You've been in for four years. I've been in for, you know, five years. We've both, pro I can probably speak. Yes. Right. We've gone through times in our business. It's peaks and valleys, peaks and valleys. And you know, you don't grow on the peak. You literally grow in the valley. And so one thing that has helped me, and I know you get through the valley is, um, is, is, what are you allow allowing into your, into your space? Like, what are you allowing into your ears? Who is having influence over you? And I think for a lot of us, we don't have maybe people in our lives that are influencing us in the way that it's going to help us be successful in this business. Right. So for me, it was like, I had to have personal development. I had to have somebody in a podcast or a YouTube or a book that literally like gave me the belief that I could do this, that that's what it does for you. That's a personal development will do. It gives you the belief. It gives you somebody in your corner saying, Hey, you're going through this or it's hard, or you you're, you're feeling the struggle. Good. Keep going. Like it gives you this belief. And I really believe that you will build this business to the level of belief that you believe it can be built. And so it's up to you to be able to fill, fill yourself with all of that. So can you share like a couple books that have really impacted your business? Uh, yeah or podcasts or anything like that? Yeah, so I'm really glad you're touching on this because you guys, I actually, this is a little side note, but when I joined, my parents did not approve literally after I didn't ask them before I joined. I was like 18. So that was kind of still at that point where I was like, kind of had to ask, kind of don't. Um, so I was at like, I just joined when like I was at school, they didn't know about it. And they literally told me like, you need to get out. Like you need to quit. Like right after I joined and got home and told them I joined. I was like, no, I'm just going to give it a try. <laughs> like, it's fine. And then they literally would harp on my business or like talk down about my business every single day, you guys. And I lived with them. So I couldn't really get away from it, you know? And that's kind of part of the reason why I didn't work right away. But I want to tell you that you don't need to let other people's opinions of you or the business stop you from working like it did for me. Because as soon as I decided to stop listening to them, and start listening to people that will actually help my business. That's when my business turned around. Like I said, when I started using self-development, I stopped listening to all the haters and I started listening to the self-development. And the first piece of self-development that I listened to right when I, after I went Ruby and what helped me go Emerald was the book, You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero. If y'all have not listened to that, highly recommend it, like right the second. Um, that was the first thing that helped me a ton. And I actually got it as an audio book and I listened to it on the way to school, on the way to work. You don't have to have a ton of time. Like you're driving anyways. 
well, why not play an audiobook instead of music that doesn't help you, you know? So I um, switched my music to my audiobook in the car every single day. And that's really what helped me go Emerald is honestly that book and journaling. I started journaling every single day, just like literally what I'm grateful for you guys. It doesn't have to be anything confusing. Like, I don't want you to say like, that's great that she journals, but I don't know how to do that. Like, that's not an excuse. Literally just journal, write down what you're grateful for. It's all that it is. It doesn't have to be anything complicated. It can take five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever time you have, just do it because it will change your business. And then that audiobook is literally the one that I recommend the most. And then I actually like podcasts a lot. I listen to the Grant Cardone podcast, um, Ed Milet, Rob Dial, and Manifestation Babe. The author to that book was Jen Sincero. I saw that in the chat. Um, what other books? There was The Five Second Rule is a good book. Um, Miracle Minds was a good book. Um, I've listened to, or Miracle Mornings, I think it is. That's what it's called. Um, there was another one. I have to look at my audiobooks. What was it? I think it was Get Out, Get Out of Your Head or something like that. I'd have to look to tell you exactly. Um, so what do you think of all these books? Sometimes they like, it's like being bilingual. It's just like, I know. The, the words like, like switch them together. Something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no. And while you're looking for that, I want to share, uh, and maybe just like type it in the chat, get out of your, oh, get out of your head is so good. Oh my God. I, I've never even heard of this one. Okay. I need you, I need you to listen to this book. It was um, get over your damn self. I had it all wrong, but I'm sure get out of your head. Is there too. <laughs> well, get over your damn self and get out of your head. Okay. Those are, I need to hear, I need to listen to both of those. So I love that guys. And then, Make sure you're writing these down. Sorry, go ahead. One last really good one that's helped me a lot is rhinoceros success by Scott Alexander. That was the most recent one, I think. But that's a really good one. I think that's all of my favorites. Marisa has, uh, I, that's, Marisa got me that book. And I feel like when I read that book, it was very impactful as well. And like, am I missing thinking of the wrong one? I'm pretty sure. Anyways, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Love that as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but when, um, when I started, guys, if you're someone who's like a red person, what color personality are you, Cass? I'm just kidding. Yellow. How are you? Okay. We're, we're a good little mix. Okay. So I'm very red. And when I joined the things that really helped me was first of all, just typing in the word motivation. I challenge you. Let me know if you're down to do this. You guys drop a yes in the chat. If you'll do a 10 day challenge for me, I, ja I challenge you to start the next 10 days. Okay. Opening up YouTube and just typing in the word motivation. Okay. And in this, there's just like somebody that's just like, you can like do it. And I'm like, I can do it. Right. And you like have no belief and you just do it. Um, also I love that you said Grant Cardone, by the way, I just listened to, um, one of his podcasts, uh, it's called steps to success, which is interesting because we used to have the steps to success and it was such a good episode. Um, Anyway, so if you're looking for a good podcast, that's a really good one. But uh, anything Grant Cardone, you guys, like the 10X rule, um, be obsessed or be average, really just gets you in the mindset of what it takes to be successful in this business. Now, um, let's let's kind of move on to the bonuses. I know Jade, Jade's uh, on that other call. Um, so we're just going to kind of, we're just going to keep it going. Um, but guys, we know that we're releasing new bonuses tomorrow. Okay. So we're releasing new bonuses tomorrow. Uh, I'm actually not sure. Am, am I allowed to talk about them? Yeah. Right. Right. I think so. I just won't upload this until tomorrow and then they'll never know. So if you're watching this, it might, be, whatever, just joking. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we have new bonuses coming tomorrow guys. And I'm excited about that because, um, you know, I don't know about you, but anybody really excited and fired up by the fact that you could literally come in and earn a $10,000 bonus. Like, is anybody motivated by money? Like, let's just like, not even be upset about that. Like we are here to make money. Who's motivated by money. Okay, great. We have a re-rank and a rank bonus anywhere from diamond to ambassador diamond on a three month cycle that you can come in and earn. And guys, I am so fired up about it because I know that this is, you know, 
th these are big bonuses and it's been a while since we've had ones roll out like this. And so um, now let's talk about going diamonds. Okay. You guys are going to see from Jade's team, from our team, a lot of focus around literally building to diamond because that's what it takes to earn one of these bonuses. Um, you know, I think that if you want to be successful in this business, you have to have, in you have to be intentional. Like you probably heard that from Cassie, right? Like she came in, she was intentional with her time. She was intentional with her action. She was intentional with how she built her business. When you're intentional, you are going to get results. Drop a five in the chat. If you feel sometimes, and we've all been there. So if you're like, damn, this is me, it's okay. But you feel like you're just kind of loosey goosey with everything, right? You're kind of like, oh, I'll just, you know, I'm going to like, hopefully like just dip my toe in the water. And then like, when I go diamond, then I'll treat it serious. Then I'll do it. Right. So I really want to switch this mindset in order to go diamond. You got to act like a diamond and to go diamond, you got to be intentional. You got to know where you're going. You got to know what you're doing. So I know for some of you, you're like, I don't even know what diamond means. That's okay. You're going to see lots of our, you know, training around this. Um, but I want you to think of it like this. A diamond is going Ruby three times. I remember someone saying to me at the beginning of this business, um, like if you can figure out and understand Ruby, if you can understand Ruby, if you can teach Ruby and you can just wrap your mind around it, literally any single rank in this company is very achievable because it's just made up of rubies. Okay. So if you're someone on this call and you don't know what that is, I want you to literally right now message your sponsor and say, I need a video on how to go Ruby. Okay. When you have that, just know if you're not Ruby yet, it's a step-by-step literally two more times in your diamond if you can figure out ruby so let's talk about the mindset to diamond okay i feel like diamond is one of those ranks where it's like it's the first leadership rank it's a full-time income it's you know a ten thousand dollar cash bonus right now what would you say was the biggest mindset shift taking you from emerald to diamond i think really first of all was believing that i could do it and deciding to do it because like when I first joined and I heard like you can make a full-time income with this, I heard from everybody around me. I heard from like everyone in the world, like that's not possible. Like y'all are crazy. That's what I always thought at the beginning too. I'm sure some of you thought that. And I just kind of realized like, like if other people are doing it, why can't I do it? And that's why getting on Zooms and going to conference is so important because I literally just had to decide to believe in myself. And I just had to decide that if these people can do it, why can't I? And then I just really ran after it. But it's the first thing about the decision and believing in yourself. Because if you don't think that you can do it, why are other people going to think that you can help them do it? You know, so you really need to believe in yourself first. And I know that's harder said than done. Um, easier said than done, sorry. Um, but if you just do the self-development and you start hopping on these Zooms every single time, and you just follow the training that that is given to you that you can definitely do it like if we believe in you why not believe in yourself um that's one of my biggest like first tips with that yeah i love that and crystalline just said cheyenne said you have to get over your your own bs before you do anything different and it's true mm -hmm. like I remember hearing at a Tony Robbins event, the literally the thing, okay, and put business aside for a sec, let's anything in your life. Um, the thing that's going to stop you from getting what you want is the story that you tell yourself as to why you can't have it. And I like mm -hmm. remember hearing that and like, I felt personally victimized by a Tony Robbins. I was like, wow, you could have just tagged me in that, honestly. Like, you know what I mean? And we're, we're humans, like we're literally programmed, we're literally programmed to look for the reasons why we can't. We're literally programmed to look for the negative. Why? Because our brains are here not to keep us successful, to keep us safe, okay? So keeping us safe means that anytime we try to venture out and have a belief or do something out of the comfort zone that we normally do, we try to venture outside of that. Our, our literal subconscious mind is like, nope, get back to it, retreat. And that's what allows us to then like self-sabotage or be like, I maybe I can't do it or it's not possible or like all these things. And so the, the, I love that you said belief, right? It comes down to belief. If you think you can't straight up. Okay. If you think that you can't, you are right. If you look for the problem, you're going to find it. Okay. I could, I could look for a problem in my relationship and convince myself to probably leave. You know what I mean? Not actually, if you know, Mike, you know that he's amazing, but like, that was a bad example. He's like, what the heck, man? I'm just, what the heck girl? No, but you know what I'm saying? Right. If I could look around 
And I could think of a reason why I shouldn't live in this province that I live in. Like if you look for the problem, you're going to find a problem. Whereas if you look for a solution, you're going to find the solution. So how do you start instilling this belief? Well, in my opinion, it's getting around other people who believe. It's getting around people that are, 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 are where you want to be. And that can be in this business. That can be in the podcast that you listen to. Like when you listen and fill your brain with that, you begin to believe it. Whereas, where, whereas if you do the opposite, you're literally going to self-sabotage your business right into the ground. Um, I'm, I'm reading a, a book right now called the power of your subconscious mind. Who has anybody read that book? Has anybody heard of it? Read mm -hmm. it? Okay. It is so good. I have to like, we'll have whatever this is. That's a whole other thing, but it's so good. But basically right now, what I just have to say is it, it literally talks about what you think in your conscious mind, what we like our conscious mind is, 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 is what we think we can control our thoughts in our conscious mind, right? Whatever we think in our conscious mind, it's called the power of your subconscious mind. Okay. So I'm listening to it on audible. You can get it at the book, but whatever we think in our subconscious mind is then literally indented into our subconscious mind. Our, 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 like our mind has two parts, our conscious and our subconscious. So our conscious is we're active. We know what's going on. Our conscious is like everything else that goes on behind the scenes that we have no control over. But what we think about the thoughts, the things that we say, even when you speak over your business, like no nobody's joining. Nobody's doing this. I suck at this. I struggle with this. What it's doing is actually scientifically like it making a dent in your brainwave to now look for evidence and create things that will validate that, that thought. And so I remember building to diamonds. Yeah. Like literally if you're into manifesting or the law of attraction, this is like the scientific reason as to why that is. Okay. That's, this is like, it's very interesting. And so what I realized when I read this book was that you don't even notice sometimes like that you're literally speaking death over your business and then you get more of it. Like the only thing that you need to fix is like up here. It's mm -hmm. 80%. It's eight. This business is 80% your mind and it's 20% hustle or it's 20% skill. Right. And so this is the first thing you have to believe and then you have to take action. And like, I think, I think the action comes down to like what you said earlier, the mindset of it takes what it takes, you know, it, yeah. takes, it takes, right. Yeah. And speaking about like spe what you say about your business, I actually am reading a really good book right now. That's called power words. Like Jackie was saying, literally what you say is what like your brain thinks is truth. So if you're saying no one's joining or no one's ordering, that's what you're going to see. But if you speak life over your business and speak life over your life in general, that's what you're going to see. But it's just really about what you're saying and how you're saying it. Because if you don't think people are going to join, what's going to make them want to join you? You know? hundred percent. A hundred percent. So listen, so it's month end. I, we have 10 minutes left. I would love if we could wrap this up with a couple like tasks, like, but like, let's give them maybe some month end guys, grab your pen and paper out. We can go back and forth a couple of times, Cass. Um, I can start. Cause I literally just threw this on you. You're probably like, what? I kind of got a heads up for that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I don't just have these things popping in my head last minute. I just gotta, just gotta speak on them. So, um, a couple, a couple month end tasks. What I would recommend is you make it a goal every single day for the rest of this month to get up 15 haps a day. Let's just say, okay. 15 haps and have, or choose an amount okay like maybe yours isn't 15 maybe you're someone that usually gets one maybe you make it 10 you know stretch yourself these last couple days of the month and i would love to see you just like Cass said do half product do half business okay let's and if you're and if you're down for these just type yes in the chat so we know that we can be accountable we're all friends here we're going to do these together and i'm i'm with you Cass. what would you say what would you tell someone to do right now closing up the month yeah, so I was actually just um, typing up in the chat or I just copy and pasted. So I like to do like what I call personal power hours with myself during the day if I'm busy or I just want to get a lot done in an hour. So I just sent like the task list that I follow for that. And I just do like so we can start with um, host post messaging. And I have enrolling on the list because I used to do a bunch of task lists and not actually enroll from them. I would just do the list just to say that I did it. And that's really not going to help you. You really need to do the list with a goal to enroll. 
And I know I talked to Jade about that a little bit before this. So you just really want to make sure you have a goal of what you're doing is going to get you results, not just doing it to tell your enroller that you did it or to say in the chat that you did it. You want to do it to actually get the results from it. So we can start with um, like five minutes of post post messaging if you guys want to. I can send my message in here. Might just take me a second. I love that list that you have there. That's awesome. Maybe and I'll just can... set like timers and just do the tasks on it. Yep. Do you, okay. So actually, sorry, I'm just seeing this. I'm going to keep putting it in here. Do you want to maybe just walk everyone through really quickly what this list is and we'll make sure that everyone yeah. is in the chats. And I can send my messages as I go down too. Um, this is the host to post one. I usually do host post first because it's my favorite. <laughs> um, so I'll send 50 host post messages and I set like five minute timers or maybe 10 minute timers for TikTok. I just send the messages. So I'll take an hour and do all of this in that hour. And it just makes the day. I'll do this. And like one thing is I don't do this once a day, you guys. I do this like three or four times a day. If you have maybe a really busy day and you're not able to do this, like that's fine. But you can take five minutes. I used to take five minutes in between classes and send 50 messages, like doing a task on the list whenever I had five minutes, if you're really busy. But so what? that's the host to post message. Yeah, I literally just put it in my notes, definitely copy and paste it. I put it in my notes and I um, can show you. I like if you have an iPhone, there's a little thing where you can put a checklist and I just check it off as I go in my notes. So then my product reviewer message that I said on there is this one, and I'll do that for five minutes. Let me send it. So it actually talks about the product and business. So that's why I love this message. Um, and I will send that on Facebook, Instagram, and text messages um, to people like that are, so on text messages, you can send it to just anyone in your contacts. Or for me, I get like potential customers and potential distributors phone numbers when I'm having a conversation with them. So like, if they never responded, I'll just send this. Maybe they'll be interested in products or maybe they'll be interested in the distributor. You never know. And then the next one is, yeah. Then the next one is TikTok and Reels. And that's just kind of, I got to just take, so I actually batch my TikToks and Reels. I make like enough for the whole week. And then I just take 10 minutes and edit them and post them for that day. And it usually goes by pretty quickly. And then I'll save it and share it to the other platforms. And then you have my host to post message I just sent above. Let's see. This. Yeah, and then boosting posts. I was gonna say that as a month end tip. If you don't boost your posts, definitely recommend it. I can share some of my boosting messages or comments. So you go into your um, your old Facebook posts and you comment a um, boost in the comments. If I can get my boards to load, maybe. <laughs> Do you mind just walking them through what you mean whenever you say boost a post? Yeah, so I'll just go to my Facebook page. Let me find it. And I'll comment one of these. Uh, my boards isn't wanting to work. I was going to drop what I have them comment. Maybe. Maybe someone else can comment some boosts in there. But I'll go to like, I, I post, if I post a product post, I'll go comment. And then I will just post a boost in the comments, which is just like a short little sentence, really. And so you say, um, so for a weight loss one, I will say, FYI, this promotion is going on again. If you missed it last time, but are still wanting to lose, yeah, that one, <laughs> are still wanting to lose 20 to 30 pounds by October. I have five spots, message me weight loss. And I'll just comment that under my weight loss post that I, early, that I posted. And then anybody that commented on it or liked it, it'll like show up in their notifications again, or it might show up on their timeline again. And I'll do the same thing with distributor um, posts and like my life posts. So I posted a life post earlier about my life. And then I will post like I have two spots left, um, comment the word opportunity or something to boost them. Um, thank you guys for commenting some in the chat. I cannot, literally couldn't pull it up. 
Um, let me see what's next on the list. Uh, reaching out to my team. That's something that you should do like multiple times a day as well. I just kind of check on them, see what I can help them with. I don't have like a specific message for that. And then when I check my host to post, that's when I go back to my, um, that's when I go back to my host to post. So I'll search like the person's name that posted me, that posted for me earlier today on Facebook. I'll go search their name and just check it for comments basically. So she posted for me six hours ago and I'll go check if it has comments. Hers doesn't, but you never know the next person could. Um, so I spend like five minutes checking those because it, you'd hate to have a host to post with like 10 people that want information and you never checked it. Like, you know, you want to make sure you go back and check them. And then follow ups is just following up with people. Like I was saying earlier, sending them a quick little message like, hey, I have one spot left. Like, were you still wanting to earn an extra income or hey, like I'm placing orders now. Can I get yours included? Something like that. Like after someone wanted host to post information a week ago, you can follow up with them today about wanting to order and they might have gotten paid yesterday. You never know. But if you didn't follow up, they could order with someone else. So that's always on there. And then I do stories and posts. And that really just depends like what I posted last, either a life post or a product post. I really just alternate them. Um, and then I check my influencer applications and then just really answer back to everyone. Let me know if you want me to expand any more on any other ones. No, honestly, this was awesome. I love, I love the checklist. You guys make sure you save this checklist. This is incredible. Um, how do you do an application? We'll make sure, um, just message your sponsor or message in one of our telegram chats. We'll make sure that you have, uh, the, the, we have some training videos on how to do that step-by-step. -step. It's super, super easy. Um, so just get in touch with whoever your upline is and we'll make sure you get it, uh, Cassie. Um, but no, dude, this has been, uh, amazing. Uh, I'm really, I'm really excited that we did this. Um, so Cassie, I really appreciate your time. You have inspired me. I'm like, I love this list. And do you have anything that you want to add before we wrap it up? I know we got three minutes on the hour. Um, really just believe in yourself, you guys, and just do the things because if you're doing things and not believing in yourself, then you're kind of like screwing yourself over. Or if you're believing in yourself and not doing the things, you're kind of screwing yourself over that way. So you really need to do both. You have to believe in yourself and do the things. And like I said, I do that task list like three to four times a day, not just once. Like we said earlier, it's a numbers game. The more you do, the more results you're going to get. And that's honestly how I enroll a lot. It's just literally the, doing that exact list with those exact messages I sent you guys. I can send you my host to post. I don't think I sent that, but it's just the cleanse host to post. You all probably have it. Um, my boards doesn't want to come up again but I have it on my phone I can copy and paste it yeah boards but literally just issues today boards for everyone is yeah today, I feel like yeah I don't know why it's doing that but um literally you guys it's just super simple you have to do the things and then just believe in yourself and do the self-development because if you're having like, if you're missing a piece, it's kind of like I heard someone say, like, if there's a missing ingredient to the cake, it's not going to turn out how you want it to. It's just not even a cake. Really, right. At that point, it's like a, it's like a flapjack or something. I've tried it. I'm not very good at baking. And that's, that's very true. It's very true. All right. My host to post will not send, but if anybody else has the cleanse host to post, I'm sure a lot of you have it. Go ahead and send it if y'all want to, but I'm sure you probably have it already just um but yeah I think that's all you guys are so welcome thank you for having me this has been amazing well thank you so much and we'll make sure you guys like you said if you have any questions reach out to your upline and make sure you have everything you need um but let's slay the rest of the month thanks so much for your time tonight thanks guys everyone for taking the time to be on this and actually one more thing i want to add go follow her on facebook her posts are amazing success leaves clues like go follow her you'll see all you'll see why she enrolls so much so <laughs> thanks again so much for for being here guys we'll get this uploaded to my youtube it'll be on there uh probably tonight okay bye bye take care guys take care